everyone what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is lena and in today's video i will be cash stuffing my bartending tips so i did bartend last night and i made 292 dollars um so let's go ahead and start with my wallet um it was actually really slow well pretty slow and the bar that i'm at we have three bartenders um honestly we could get by with making or with two bartenders in that bar but you know that's not our call um but anyway starting out with groceries we have some rollover it will be getting $40 today, but we have $8 rolled over. So for the dollars, I'm just going to put it up into my dollar savings challenge and add 40. So 20, 40, and 45 for groceries. And this is just um little like groceries run. If I like have run out of bread or something, not our grocery budget. Um, gas is getting 25 and it has five rolled over. So 20, 25, and 30 for gas. And then personal is going to get $10. So I will do two fives. And then LJ, my son, he's actually not going to be getting anything. But he has 10, 11, 12, and 13. I'm going to put the ones into the dollar saving challenge. So he does have $10. And tips will be getting five. So I'll just take a $5 bill. Because I don't really have ones to work with today. And then for the dollars, we have one, two, three, four, five, six going in as well. Okay, and that is everything for this wallet. Okay, I'm gonna start out with my green binder. This will probably be a really short video because 292 is not a lot of cash to work with. So I did um, budget $5 for a few of the envelopes. So let's see, starting out with daycare. Daycare will be getting $50. So now daycare has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 620, 640, and 650. Household will be getting five. That is all that it has. All Day's Necessities is also going to get 5, so 20, 40, and 45. Capone, our dog, he is going to get 5, so 50, 70, and 75. And last envelope is Beauty, and Beauty will be getting $10. So now it has 20, but I'm just going to pick up a um, $20 bill. And that is it for this green binder. All right, moving along to my family binder. Starting out with my son's savings, he will be getting $5. So now he has $25. My personal spending money, I'm going to get five as well. So 20, 40, 60, 70, and 75. And I actually have to take um, like 30 or $40 out because I finally got all the pictures and canvas and everything for my vision board. And I did that today earlier. I just have to like glue on the picture. Um, but siblings will be getting five and that is the last envelope in here. So 50, 70 and 75. We are like heading towards the end of January, but better late than never, right? Okay, so that is everything for the pink binder. Moving into my tan taupe binder. Um, three envelopes will be getting stuffed in here. So first is date night, and date night will be getting five, and that is all that it has. We did go on a date night um, like last weekend, or I think it was last weekend, or is it two weekends ago? I forget at this point, <laughs> but I think it was last weekend. We did we went to like a Dave and Buster's um, type place around our house, and that was a lot of fun. And then afterwards, it was still pretty early, so we actually went to the casino by us and stayed way too late, but we had a lot of fun. And we have another date night in beginning of February because um, – our son LJ is seen over. He has a birthday party to go to with my bonus mom. So yeah, so free date night, free childcare. Um, I added five to medical, so now it has 100, 150, 170, 175, and 180. I do have prop money in here um, because this is like longer term savings. So I did go ahead and transfer some of the money into my high yields account until I have to use it. And then car will be getting five. So it has 100, 150, 170, and 175. Same thing with car. I transferred 100 into um, 
the account for its own bucket. All right, last but not least, my saving challenge slash holiday binder. Uh, okay, so I have this sticky note here for $73 for the 100 envelope challenge because I actually removed the money from my um, tax envelope for YouTube taxes because I don't think I'm going to owe. And my plan for this year is whatever um, YouTube income and miscellaneous income that I get, I will be directly transferring into the high yield account. So like out of sight, out of mind. So I did take the cash and distribute it. It was only like $90 in cash, so 73. Majority of it went into my 100 ml challenge. And then the other 20, I think I put into Moon on New Year. So that is that. Let me put this aside here for the 100 envelope challenge. And I also wanted to showcase this Valentine's Day savings challenge tracker from Nancy over at Un Petit Budget. I will be starting this after I finish with my challenges. So let me just put this to the side for now. So starting out with Lunar New Year, this is only going to get $5 because I don't have a lot of funds to work with. So 100, 120, 140, and 145. Um, so I'm going to cross out the four and the one. For five dollars, and let me just do that. And then Valentine's Day is going to get five, so 50, 60, and 65. And then last holiday envelope will be Christmas, and Christmas is also going to get five. So now Christmas has 50, 60, 65, and 70. And let me drop this actually for a 20. So 70 for Christmas. I'm going to color in this Christmas tree. Um, yeah, I'll just color the whole thing green. All right, so this is what it currently looks like and tiffany over from ts budget she did um just did like a little launch this past friday and i really wanted some of the hello kitty um vellum scratchers but they actually sold out so yeah i mean i don't really need to buy any more saving challenges because i have a ton but yeah congratulations tiffany i love all your stuff especially the vellum stuff they're so cute all right so for the 100 envelope challenge i'm gonna be adding 73 from the youtube tax money and then from bartending, I will be adding 74. So 20, 40, 60, 70. Um, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'll just put this into the dollar saving challenge because I need a change. Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4 from the bar and then the 73. Just so I could knock off two numbers at once, you know, and the money was just sitting in YouTube taxes. Okay, so let me color that in. 23 and 74. All right, down to the four, last four numbers. Literally, ah, can't wait. Okay, so next is the Spooky Season Challenge. Um, this is only going to be getting $5. So now it has 50, 55, 60, and 61, and 62. And then the Mini Challenge, this is going to get $8. And there I am with my change again. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for this ten. So five, six, seven, eight. I'm missing something because I have one, two, three, four, five. Five rolled over. Unless I did my budget wrong, which I probably did. It's okay. So let me scratch the next um, set of numbers to see what I am cash stuffing next time. Just pulling out a quarter here or a coin. All 
All right, let's go with this number. So I did scratch off the remaining remaining three numbers, which is 10, 5, and 2. So I will be stuffing 17 next time to finish it for $25. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. I might add it to Valentine's Day or Lunar New Year since they are coming up. And then once um, I finish that for next time, I will be bringing this one from um, Nancy over from Unpajit Budget. Um, actually, you know what? Let me throw the 5 in there because, you know, I have a rollover of $5. So I'm going to do, is this a candle? Yep, it's a heart candle for $5. And then you have the X for $10, a box of chocolate for $15, and then a jar of candy for $20. In total, you will save is $200. I'm not going to put it towards Valentine's Day since I'm almost done with saving for Valentine's Day. So this $200 will be, you know, for something else whenever um, I figure that out. So one, two, three, four, five for Valentine's Day. Or, I mean, the Be Mind Saving Challenges. Savings challenge. Okay. And then last but not least is the dollar savings challenge. This is going to get $12. Alright, so that is it for these this cash stuffing. Probably a little short one, and sorry for the, all the shadows. I am filming. It's like almost 5.30 right now. So, yeah, the sun is set. I usually try to film during daylight, but I didn't get a chance to because we were so, so busy today. Went out to brunch and had a great time. And then came back and played and chilled. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this short and sweet video. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. But I'll talk to you. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, your night, your week, your weekend, whenever you're watching. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.